Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm building a modern house to showcase the new kit that we got. And let me just say that the kit is so good. I think that the bed alone is worth the $5 you pay for this kit. It is very cute. It comes with several items. I think it's a good mixture of decorations and furniture. And I don't think that it's strictly a modern base. I feel like some of the items could definitely be used in other types of builds as well. And you may notice I already have some terrain paint outlining my house. And this is because I built the house and furnished it. I finished it completely, started editing my video, and realized that I was missing all of the footage of me building this house. So I had to go back in and bulldoze the lot and recreate the house and I just left the terrain paint because I felt like it would be easy to uh, get the exact size that I had before by if I just left the terrain paint and kind of went off of those measurements. So it's a pretty simple modern house and I was thinking that this house was for a really successful and single sim or maybe a, a couple. But in my head, it was a single lady living here. Um, it has two bedrooms and one bathroom. But the uh, second bedroom I made into an office, which could easily be converted into another bedroom if your son wanted to expand their family in this home. There's definitely enough space to do that. So I was really excited with how the house came together, the layout, it felt cozy but very modern and clean and not too much clutter. So yeah, I just went with a black color. I used these windows, the big windows are from the Growing Together pack. They are so gorgeous to me. I used them all throughout the house and then I took some Eco Lifestyle wallpaper and did the boards, the black boards over there, and then the rest of the uh, house is all, I think, base game wallpaper. So yeah, it was pretty simple. I just stuck to a black theme in most of the house with some wood tones, which is one of my favorite combinations. And over here, I'm adding a little pop out and this is going to be the way they access the backyard because I did end up putting a little back patio out there so they can access the back by this door right here on the side and instead of just making it a normal room or a fireplace I ended up making it like a green room type of um, room so I put a glass <laughs> roof on it and glass windows from the greenhouse kit and it came out really cute. I love the natural light that it brought into the rest of the house, which you will see soon. This house actually had some really good lighting in it. The bedroom and the office really show the light coming in so beautifully. So I can't wait until we get to that part just so you guys can see that too. But here I'm just placing the windows and the doors on here and making it a completely windowed glass face. For plants, I ended up putting just a couple of chairs out there with some plants. And you will also see that soon. I went very simple on the landscaping just because modern houses you won't typically see like a big mismatch of landscaping. It's usually just greenery, simple plants and stuff. So that's what I did. And again, I did redo this, the outside of the house, so it does look a little bit different in the end because I ended up using a couple of different bushes. So again, I told you guys I bulldozed the house, but I bulldozed it just to show you guys me recreating or me building it. I didn't save it. I went, after I finished recreating this for y'all, I went out and I didn't save my game. So when I came back, it was exactly how I had done it originally, so it does vary a little bit, but... This is the gist of how I did it. If you're building along with me or trying to figure out how to do it, this is basically it. I just, I really like using these little stepping stones for modern builds. I feel like they look really nice and clean. So instead of using a just staircase, 
I've seen this trick done before and I have been wanting to use it and I feel like it really worked for this build. I'm using a platform and I'm going to place stairs on two sides of this so I can make it look my goal is to make the rooms look a little bit more separated. Well, it's one big open space down here, but by putting something this large in the middle, it kind of separates the living and kitchen areas. Plus, I don't know, it's like a focal point. I feel like it was really pretty. I threw some decorations up here, and I feel like it was a lot better than just a normal staircase. I was able to put fencing on it or railing and I was able to put flooring up there and decorations and it ended up just looking really nice. I feel like it was exactly what I was going for in this house. So this room is going to be the little um, green room, greenhouse room. I can, there's a name for these, sunrooms. A sunroom I think is what they're traditionally called. So this is what this room is going to be and instead of doing an arch I built these two walls you can see on either side at an angle and I'm going to add windows and delete the wall to make it look like these are doors that you can open up like French doors so that is what I did here I think it looks so nice it's just my opinion but I like how it just looks open now onto the living room, out of this fireplace. This is actually a TV that came with the new kit we got and it is so good. I love how it looks like a piece of art instead of just a black frame. I think it's very cute. So I used it, I went with the um, sectional pieces from Dream Room Decorator and this is the rug that we got in the kit comes in a lot of different swatches super super cute I love it and then these pictures also came from the modern kit as did this light and we got some really beautiful curtains that I used all throughout the house as well and these are the curtains that come in several different swatches and they come in two heights they also come with the bar to connect each side this is the same style of curtain that the desert kit uses and I really like that they've started doing this because I don't build with CC anymore just because I know people like to download these houses but when I did one of my favorite objects to download was the curtains because they look so much like this I just like how they're smaller at the top and bigger at the bottom it actually gives them some dimension instead of just being like a blocky curtain and I love that they give us the curtain rods so we can connect them like I did here so that is something I've seen done a lot with custom content that is how a lot of the curtains are and I'm so happy that we now have two different versions of this to use in the sims without having to download the custom content so this bookshelf is also from the kit and so is the wallpaper. I used it as an accent wall because it is a little bit busy to do the entire house with, but it's the perfect accent wall type of wallpaper. For the rest of the house, I believe the wallpaper I used came from the Wedding Stories pack. I do believe that's where it's from, but it's just a simple wallpaper. I didn't want to do anything crazy. I still wanted it to feel clean minimalistic kind of so over here is just a sitting area and I'm gonna add a table with a mirror some clutter on the table I added this new purse clutter type I don't know if it's like a makeup bag or a small purse or what but it came with the kit so I added that to the table as well and added some chairs just to give it a little sitting seating area nothing crazy again I didn't want it to feel empty but also didn't want it to feel over cluttered because I don't think of clutter when I think of modern I guess it depends on whose house it is but in the sounds this is what I feel modern is and these chairs also came with the new kit oh and my gosh I haven't even talked about the throw pillows that we got what I cannot believe that I did put some on the couch but, I mean, I just can't believe it. When I saw the throw pillows, oh, my mind was blown. Like, why don't we have something like that in every pack 
or kit that we get, you know? They're so, so handy. I wish we had some throw blankets as well, though. But I'm going to be thankful we at least got some throw pillows. And hope maybe one day we'll get some throw blankets, too. I'm just adding a couple of little things in this corner. I feel like I always go for the coat rack and the umbrellas and some shoes. It's just easiest. Um, this is going to be the kitchen. I tried to follow the theme and I did these black grayish countertops from Dream Home Decorator with the wood accents at the bottom. Again, very simple in here as well as in the dining room. I just added a little island in here and I feel like the space is very, very spacious but it's still cozy, I guess. That's, that's the feeling I get from this build. So, and again, I like how the big stair piece that I have there helped separate and make the kitchen its own space. So, because I do have stairs here, it was a little bit awkward to do counters all the way across. So what I ended up doing was just a couple of windows in here with a range hood or a vent hood and I um, added some open shelves on one side because it did feel like it was a little bit too plain. So I went with this and I think it came out really nice. So now we are on to the master bedroom, which is fully done in the new modern kit. Look at the sunlight coming in from that window, y'all. Oh my gosh, it was so beautiful. And this bed is so gorgeous. And of course, I chose the pink color because I love pink. But I can see myself using these 
in so many of my builds because they are so gorgeous, all these pieces. So I gave her this nice little walk-in closet and I've really tried to use just about every piece of the new kit in this room to really showcase how pretty it is. This mirror, I wanted it to be at an angle so I did use tool to push it back a little bit and I drew that wall there just to place it at an angle because I wasn't able to freely rotate it how I wanted to. So yeah, just building a diagonal wall like that and setting the mirror on it gives you the look that it is in a corner and of course I was able to push it back so I'm with tool mode but I think it would be okay if you didn't push it back. That's just the specific look that I wanted to go for. And these lamps. Okay, you will see me kind of... What I did with this lamp was... Look how many slides there are on this end table. I don't think the usual like end tables we have come with so many slots to set something on. So I really love that this one did. And I have placed several swatches of the new painting right here. And the rug which I did end up using a couple of little fluffy rugs in this room to make it feel like super comfortable. And here is the chair with the throw pillow. Again, so many swatches. Like you could use these pretty much with any style that you're decorating with. So I ended up going with the classic walk-in shower or fake walk-in shower for the bathroom and I gave her a tub as well. I wasn't quite sure what to do in here but I feel like this was a pretty good master bathroom and it's also the bathroom for the rest of the house because this is the only bathroom which I thought would be fine considering in my mind that this house was for a single sim or a couple, not a very big family living here. And that's pretty much it for the bathroom. I did go back and change the colors of the, the items on the counter because I felt like all the colors were not blending. And the next thing that I'm going to move on to is going to be the office. And I gave her an office because, again, I said I wanted this to feel like it was a home for a single, really successful sim. So I tried to put my mind in that place and I gave her this office and I don't know what kind of job she has. Maybe she's a fashion designer 
uh, the poster I put here is like interior decorator, so maybe that is what she does. But again, I used a ton of items from the new kit. This is the third time I've used this rug in this build, and I feel like it makes the room look totally different every time. So here's the sunroom and I just used a couple of chairs and added some random plants all in here. Maybe not the most functional room, but it's really cute and it will create a really good mood with that is for sure. <laughs> and I did end up changing the dining room a little bit, just like the colors of the chair and the rug. I think it went better than what I had in there first. And this is just going to be a small outdoor area for the sim to entertain guests or hang out. I ended up using this same flooring. This, the flooring that I've used on the front and the back right here is from the ranch pack, the, new, the newer ranch pack. Oh my gosh, it's some of my favorite. I love the swatches from that pack still. I still am so obsessed with all of the things that come in that pack. And I always find myself using like at least one thing that it came with in most of my builds. I just went very simple on the landscaping out here and kind of just followed what I did around the rest of the house. And I ended up using I think only the stuff from the desert kit that we have because I feel like it looks a little bit modern as well. So I think it really fit in with this kit or with this build for me showcasing the modern kit. But yeah, it's it's pretty simple. I just added some chairs. I wanted to leave enough space so where <laughs> several Sims could be here and walk. But they have a bar and a grill and some seats so she can entertain her guests and everybody can have a good time. Guys, that is pretty much it. This is the end of the build, the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so because it really helps me out and I appreciate it a ton. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!